we're going to be looking at calculating percent error. The calculation for percent error is your experimental value, which would be your lab value, minus the true value. So your true value might be your real value. It could be called the standard value. It might be called the actual value. All of these are terms that you might see. So here's the first example. My bathroom scale indicates that I weigh 135 pounds. The calibrated doctor scale says I weigh 142 pounds. What is the percent error of my scale? So my lab value is 135 pounds. So there's my experimental value. The true value is the value from the doctor's office, 142. Now notice that these are in absolute values. And then in the denominator should be the true value. So that is going to be 142. To convert this into percent, I'm going to make sure that I remember to multiply by 100. If you multiply everything out, and we're just going to go to two significant figures, you're going to have a value of 4.9%. Put a box around it so I know you're done. Now, if you want, you can pause the recording here and try this next sample and restart when you're ready to go. But I'm happy to do it for you. A second example, a student uses a ruler to determine a circle has a diameter of 3.8 centimeters. The true diameter is 3.7 centimeters. What is the student's percent error? So the student determined that the value was 3.8. So that's your lab value. So we're going to write 3.8, and we're going to subtract the true value, which is 3.7. Remember, we'll have an absolute sign, so that means that all positives or negatives disappear. And we will divide it by the true value, which is 3.7. And we're going to remember to multiply by 100 to make sure that it is reported in percent. And when you work this out to two significant figures, you should get 2.7%. And as always, put a box around it so everyone knows that's your final answer.